many apps have a common boilerplate. It would be great if there was a way to reuse infrastructure templates to deploy multiple services. Let's see how KPT helps Bob manage this. Bob is a lead on the application development team, which is currently in a crunch. They need to launch 10 apps for an upcoming deadline. Most of the effort is in the common infrastructure, but each app requires certain modifications that are hard to manage in a consistent way. Bob's first instinct is to copy and paste Kubernetes manifests between projects. But this has many downsides. Manually having to make changes to copy-pasted code is time-consuming and error-prone. In an ideal world, Bob would be able to define standardized configuration templates, customize setting for each specific application, and then modify them all as a unit. What Bob needs is packaging. And with deadlines looming, he needs it pronto. Bob asks Charlie for help, who introduces him to Ida, a developer on the platform's team. Ida explains the benefits of config as data and shows Bob how to use templates with KPT to reuse customized project boilerplate, which dramatically accelerates Bob's work. KPT is an OSS tool for Kubernetes packaging, which uses a standard format to bundle, publish, customize, update, and apply configuration manifests. It's Git plus YAML architecture means it just works with existing tools, frameworks, and platforms. KPT is built around a config as data architecture that bundles up Kubernetes resource configuration. This format is readable for both humans and machines and is a source of truth for declarative platform. The benefit of reading and writing the package content using standardized data structures enables KPT to apply bulk updates, creation, and deletion of projects, run user-defined functions to apply custom behaviors to config files, seamlessly integrate into the Kubernetes infrastructure, and more, which is exactly what Bob's team needs. Say we wanted to work with Kubernetes example repositories for demo sake we could run the kpt package get command to fetch the entire directory. This has a lot of files. No fear though, we can use the kpt cfg count command to summarize the files in an easier way to read. You can do a lot more with filtering and listing resource in different ways, but I want to take a second to focus on using kpt to update and validate config files. Let's take a look at an example. If we use the kpt cfg list setter command, we can see which values we're able to use the kpt tool. So this package contains three setters we can use with the kpt set tool and the current value of the properties. Let's set the number of replicas to three. Now one of the benefits of a tool like kpt is its ability to use functions to apply changes like this on a number of config files at once. So I urge you to look into the resource link below for a walkthrough on that. And there you have it. With KPT, you can easily create and customize and compose configuration packages while adhering to the configuration as a data philosophy. With this knowledge, Bob is able to quickly get his application spun up in time to meet the deadline. So that's it for KPT. Make sure to check out the description for links to more resources on it and like and subscribe to the channel for more videos about Google Cloud. Thanks for watching.